What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp Essentials tutorial for you. So the last few weeks we've been talking a lot about camera views and animations and section cuts and stuff like that. Now we're going to kind of tie everything together in order to um, create a construction sequencing animation. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So um, I've got my building that I'm going to have going up as a part of this sequence animation modeled right here. and. Um, so first thing I want to point out is I've, I've come in here and I've modeled everything, but I've got it all modeled. I've got it in groups um, by kind of the scene that I want to... Uh, I, I've got it broken up into separate groups based on the animation that I want to create. So basically any, any piece that you want animated in a separate scene needs to be in its own group. So like for example, I've come in here and I've modeled the slabs for each level separate from the structural supports for each level. They're all in different groups. And then the other thing I've done, because uh, this makes it a lot easier for me, is I've come in here and I've labeled all of those in the outliner. So um, the outliner is found in your tray over here and it's a great way to kind of keep your uh, keep your model organized. So it's really helpful to have that stuff in here. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to talk a little bit about using section planes um, in order to create our construction animation. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn section I'm going to turn section planes on. So I'm going to go up to view section planes and you can see what I've done in here is I've I've created different sections um, for each moving piece that I have in my model. And uh, I did mention last week that you can't have multiple section cuts active at one time. That is not true if you have everything in separate groups. So you can have one section plane per group active at once. So in this case, what I've got is I've got a section plane for every single one of my objects in here that I want to animate. And so what we're going to do here is I, I've gone ahead and created all of these different section planes in here. And each one of them, when you turn them on, is going to hide something in your model. So like, for example, when I turn this section plane on over here, it's going to hide everything in the site. And um, so what I started off with is I have all of these section planes set to on. Um, but I have section cuts turned off right now just so I can show you the building. But to turn section planes on, what you're going to do is you're either going to go up to view and check the box that says section cuts or you can go to view toolbars and select the option that says section. That'll turn this little menu on. And so there's a couple little buttons in here. This button allows you to add a section plane. This button allows you to display the actual planes themselves. And this turns section cuts on and off, just like this. And since I have these all set to active, um, all of that set to off, or all of that stuff is hidden right now. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna turn on our section planes. And uh, you can come in here and you can add these yourself. Um, but basically all you're gonna do is you're gonna come inside an object and I'll use this top one as an example. You're just gonna come in here and you're gonna add a section plane and you can do that by clicking the section plane option or going to tools section plane and uh, you just click in here to add a plane just like this and you can see what that's going to do is that plane will cut your model and so what we've done is we've created all these planes that are past the model so that you can't see anything in the actual model itself so and what we're doing is if you remember SketchUp will animate the transition between those different scenes or between those different section cuts um, even when they just turn on and off so I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about so what we've got right here is we've got our site group um, active in our model but we have the section cut turned on so you can't see anything and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off and we're just gonna add a scene in your animations just like this so we've got our first scene and in our first scene nothing is on right you can't see anything in your model um, and you can click this section planes button again to turn this back on just so you can see these but in your first scene all of your section cuts are active so everything is cut so you can't see anything well what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn these we're gonna turn these section cuts off one by one so like if I come in here and I select this section cut I right click on it and I uncheck the box that says active cut and that's how you turn sections on and off as you right click on them and you select that active cut option but you can see what that does is that turns the section cut off well now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here we're gonna right click on your scene click add just like this and what that means is SketchUp's gonna animate the transition between those two different scenes so basically what it's doing is it's saying okay in scene one this section cut is active but in scene two it's not 
And so basically SketchUp knows to smoothly animate the transition between those. And what we do is we use that in our animation to come in here and create our different moving parts and pieces just like this, which is why I have this broken up into all these different sections. So let's do another one. So if I come in here and I want to show my crane. So my crane is this object right here and uh, this section cut at the bottom is active. So all I have to do is right click on that and uncheck active cut and you can see my crane shows up. We'll then add a scene just like this. And so now what you're gonna get is you're gonna get a transition between those two scenes where the section is off and then the next one or where the section is on and in the next one it's off. So you can see what that does is that creates this kind of moving construction animation across here, which is exactly what we're going for as a part of this piece. So, and uh, what, once you kind of get the hang of it, all you have to do is now you'd come in here and you'd do your slab for your first level. You'd turn that cut off and then you'd add a scene for that one. And then now you're gonna have your construction animation where your crane comes out of the ground and then you move to the next scene and it's going to create your slab just like this. So, and then we'd come in here and we turn on our post for the first level or we turn off the section cut for the post just like this and then we'd add a new scene. So, and in this way you can animate your way across the entire, across the entire project. So each one of these is just going to be its own scene and it requires a little bit of planning and a little bit of modeling things in a certain way, but um, it's pretty easy to move between them once you kind of get used to it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and finish adding my different transitions in here. I'll probably speed this part of the video up and then we can talk a little bit more about some other stuff. And one thing it's a good idea to do is just test your animation between the different scenes because otherwise you could create a whole lot of extra work for yourself. You may have to come back in here and like reorder all your different section cuts and stuff like that and you really don't want to do that. So um, just as, as you add these, click between them just to make sure everything's kind of doing what you want it to do. Um, it could be a huge time saver if you do that. So. Perfect. So once you've got this kind of transitioning between your active cuts the way that you want it, um, let's say for example that you wanted to come in here and you wanted to change your camera angle or your camera view, um, you can definitely do that. Once you get those kind of visibility settings set, then you can kind of just move your camera around just like this and uh, just come in here and right click on your scene and click update to update that camera view. So you can see SketchUp will not only animate your section cut, but it'll also animate the transition between those two different camera viewpoints. So um, you can use that to kind of create fly throughs where you can fly through the whole model or if you just don't like the angle that this was at, you can come in here and you can adjust each one of those. So you can update that, that kind of thing. So um, and the other thing I want to talk about just a little bit is uh, changing the transition time between your different scenes. So if you go up to view animation settings, um, and then select this animation button. What you've got here is you've got your different tr scene transition options. So like for example, um, if I was to turn off scene transitions completely and then click between these, you can see how it doesn't, it doesn't uh, animate anything anymore. It just flips between the different scenes. Um, make sure this scene transitions box is checked. But what this is gonna do is this is gonna set the amount of time that you have between your different scenes. So like for example, if you wanted to go really slow between each one of your transitions, like if you were doing a presentation or something, if you set, you could set that scene transition time to something like five seconds or 10 seconds or something like that, um, you know, just to give you more time to talk. Or if you needed these to go faster, you could set that to something like one second. And then you can see those are going to those are going to fly in there really fast. You can see how it goes a whole lot faster. And you can also set the scene delay. So maybe for example, you want these to go a little bit slower, but you don't want it to pause in between each transition. You can just set the scene delay to zero. So it's going to jump between your different scenes a little bit faster, just like this. So you, you can use that to kind of modify the way this whole thing works. 
but it's very very easy to come in here and adjust those different options so that everything just kind of keeps flowing the way that you want it to flow and this does seem to be creating a little bit of a delay uh, maybe because the section plane is a little further over here but generally speaking you can still come in here and change those different transition times and stuff like that you can set this however you want it to be and um, you know you could also if you wanted to you could go between scene one and scene 14 and have the entire building just kind of animate through here just like that so and if you wanted to you could turn that scene tra you could turn the scene transition really low and then you could turn all these other options off in your scenes section so and that's something that you can do in here too if you want is you could take scene 2 through scene 13 and uncheck show and animation and then when you play your animation all this is going to do is it's going to animate the transition between scene 1 and scene 14 just like that so you can turn different scenes off in your construction animation and if you wanted to you can see how this is bouncing back and forth really fast that's because I have the scene transition set kind of low um, but you could definitely come in here if you wanted to and turn this scene transition to something slow like let's say like 10 seconds or something like that and then you could play this animation and you got to give it just a second but once it kind of cues everything up then it'll work just fine um, you know once you do that you know you can have it come across here real slow so this whole transition will take 10 seconds if you wanted just to kind of show the building coming across here but not necessarily the different sequencing so that would kind of bounce back and forth so there's a lot of different things you can do in here you can kind of be creative with some of this stuff so and then the last thing you can do with this is you can take this animation and you can export it to a video like for example if I come up here to file export animation you can either export that as a video or you can export that as a whole bunch of different images that then uh, you can kind of stitch together in a separate separate program in this case we're just going to export a video just like this so um, I'm going to put that in my SketchUp Essentials folder for construction animations and uh, you can come in here and there's a couple different options that you can use in here you do have to get really kind of careful because this can spit out some pretty big files because basically what it's doing is it's just spitting out um, it's spitting out a certain number of videos based on your frame rate so in this case for every second of video it's got to spit out 24 pictures in order for this to be a uh, kind of smooth animation so you can come in here and you can adjust a couple of the different resolution options in here so uh, if you're not a hundred percent sure if this is gonna look how you want I would recommend starting off with like a 480p construction animation and then you can export that um, and that'll take a little while to export just because it has to generate all those images but I recommend uh, spitting out a um, low resolution image first or video first to make sure everything is the way that you want it to be because it sucks if you uh, try to export something in HD and it takes hours and then uh, you come back and your animations all wrong so always do kind of a test first so if I click this export you can see it's probably going to take a few minutes to do because um, you can see it has to spit out a thousand and nine frames in here and uh, then it kind of stitches those together into an individual video so I'm just gonna let this work a little bit all right so once that spits that animation out you can open it up and let's go ahead and open up the one that we got So you can see this is the mp4 model that it generated or uh, video that it generated so and I'll pull this over here and let's see what it looks like so this is an animation that you could pull up and and you can see that it's definitely a um, low resolution but again we did that on purpose uh, just to kind of spit something out and make sure that it looked the way that you wanted to do but you know a lot of the time something like this is a little bit better for if you're gonna do a presentation or something like that just because things can go wrong with models and that kind of thing um, so depending on what you're gonna do sometimes a video is better sometimes clicking back and forth between the tabs is better it just kinda depends on what you're trying to do the nice thing about having a video like this is you can send it out to a team or to a group and um, anyone can open it without having to have any software on their computer or anything like that so anyway that's where i'm gonna end today's video i'll leave a comment below let me let me know what you thought did you 
did this help you out? Did I go too fast? Did I miss anything that you were confused about? I'd love to just have that sketch up conversation with you. I love answering your question, just talking with you guys about the program. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new sketch up content every week. Uh, if you really like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Um, every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month, that just helps me keep bringing you great sketch up content. In any case, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.